now. Uh, so hello everyone. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be here today. My name is Matthias Wax and I'm a member of the GNUnet project. I'm mainly working on the transport um, component of our peer-to-peer -peer framework. And since we released our new version um, some weeks ago, uh, I want to tell you about the latest developments and our vision about uh, how we want to enforce network neutrality and censorship resistance with our framework. Slide, please. So, uh, basically, GNUnet um, is free software and um, is an extensible peer-to-peer -peer framework which um, you can use to easily develop you, um, your vision of a new peer-to-peer -peer application. Um, our idea we want to give you with um, GNUnet is connectivity everywhere without um, the possibility to limit your traffic or um, to censor your traffic. So um, if you want to uh, exchange your information with your body, you should uh, be able to do it um, anytime, anywhere, and with uh, whoever you want. Um, so um, what, does, um, what does GNUnet do to um, realize this vision? So, Basically, uh, GNUnet has more than one transport protocol we can provide you. So if you have an internet service provider which um, improves your internet connectivity with techniques like quality of service or traffic shaping, you can just switch to a different transport plugin that uh, is perfectly, um, perhaps giving you a better performance. So we provide you with a uh, TCP, uh, UDP, HTTP, and HTTPS. So um, if your connectivity is somehow limited, you can just switch the plugin. If you have one of these providers who protects you in your private network and uses techniques like network, a network address translation, a proxy, or um, a filter, that's also no problem with GNUnet because with GNUnet you have techniques like um, UPnP various net traversal techniques and we have also um, a client only mode where you, you only use outbound connections. Um, IPv6 is now, how old, I don't know, at least 10 years, but we have many of these um, internet service providers uh, who still do not support IPv6. So um, if you have to access one of these fancy websites um, with IPv6 only hosting your latest government secrets, um, you should perhaps have a look at the GNUnet VPN application. Uh, the GNUnet VPN application um, is giving you um, address tunneling and um, no protocol tunneling and protocol translation. So you get bo uh, both um, uh, four over six and six over four and four to six and six to four address translation in a peer-to-peer -peer based approach. So you don't two need minutes. Two minutes. Uh, so you don't need an external tunnel broker. Um, okay. So your ISP is old school, okay. But what if you don't have any ISP? Um, so with GNUnet we support um, mesh networks. So we have an um, uh, WLAN physical layer transport plugin. And so uh, if you have a little um, hacking session near the campfire, it's no problem. You and your buddies can connect on Wi-Fi physical layer directly. And if you use our mesh service, um, if one of your buddies still has internet access, we can route uh, with the mesh service to the internet. So I'm currently working on um, a new mathematical approach to select always the best transport mechanism for you and to automatically assign the correct amount of bandwidth to, uh, to all the peers you communi uh, communicate with. And uh, for this, I'm trying to find a mathematical approach. One minute, extend time. Next. Next one. Uh, so thank you very much. It was really a huge audience um, so you can more, uh, find more information on our website so uh, with it, uh, visit gnu.org or ch uh, just join us um, so me and our group uh, on um, freenode uh, in the channel gnu.net or just grab a uh, beer with me today in the evening after the talk and our latest um, version is um, out now so visit our website download it and give it a try so thank you Thank you.